Hi, today we will describe how to generate random variables in Stata. I will describe three methods uh, to generate a normal random variable and two of them you can use to generate other random variable. So uh, we begin with the traditional old school method which generates a random variable from uniform variable. Uh, first, we need to set the observation number. So we can use set OBS and you can follow with a number and it will generate uh, that many observations. We can directly use generate uh, variable name equals uniform to generate a uh, uniform random variable. So let's check. And you can see that it is roughly uniformly distributed. If I have more observations, it will behave more like a nice uniform distribution. But that's good enough, I guess. L so let's look at the value of the random variable. Uh, it starts with 1369. Let's close it. Uh, and let's generate it again. Okay, we can see that the uh, variable, the value changed. It is usually a good thing that you, we don't want to generate the same set of random variable every time. But uh, sometimes, in order to verify our work, we would like it to be set uh, to the same set of random variable. To do that, we need to use set seed. So. You can set the seed to our arbitrary large numbers as long as the same number. It will allow you to, uh, to replicate uh, your random variable. So let's try. Remember, the value is 9092969. So let's drop it. Voila, it's the same thing. So uh, once we generate our uniform random variable, we can use the inverse CDF to generate uh, other random variable because we know that the CDF, uh, the CDF of any random variable will be distributed as uniform between 0 and 1. So use that convenient property, we can generate other random variables. So let's generate a normal random variable. Uh, it's simply generate a normal uh, variable name equals to inverse normal, which is the inverse CDF function in Stata. So let's check if we get uh, good generation. Well, it works okay. After all, we have 2,000 observations. If we have more, we might do better. So uh, we can also generate a non standard uh, random, uh, random normal variable just by multiplying uh, the standard deviation and adding means such as uh, this so you can ha you can see that if we sum the variable it will have mean 1 and standard deviation 2 okay so uh, that's the first method of generating random variable the second method is actually much easier. Uh, so, Stata directly offers a command called rnormal. And Stata also have a class of uh, uh, other random variable generator that begin with r. So if you help rnormal, Okay, you can see you can have beta, binomial, chi-square, gamma, hypo, general metric, and uh, negative binomial, so on and so forth. So that's all fine. Okay, so what if we want to generate a multivariate random variable? Uh, as far as I know, 
if you want to have joint distribution of the random variable not to be uh, to be other than orthogonal the only variable you can do is a uh, normal random variable so the way to do that is first you set the uh, covariance matrix for the random variable you want to generate now here I just have a bivariate random variable also you need to set the mean uh, last you using draw normal then you name the random variable you want to have you name the observations you uh, specify the mean and the covariance using COV so let's see if we actually did it right so first of all the correlation is right because I set out the correlation to be 0.05 now let's see if yeah, x, y has the uh, right mean, so the standard deviation is 1, that's all fine. Let's see if it is, looks like normal. Yeah, I think we did it right. Okay, thank you for uh, watching. Bye.